What are you two doing? <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to our channel. We are the Herberts. I'm Abby Herbert. I'm sure you know all that by now. Um, but, you know, I just feel like I should say it, I guess. I don't know. But by the title of this video, you already know what's going on. You guys know I love, 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 love my Dyson Airwrap. I have had this crazy big contraption for over a year now. I got it last year when it was kind of blowing up on TikTok. And then I feel like this Christmas, it just really really blew up and i post videos all the time on ig stories and on tiktok and youtube and every time that i do my hair with a dyson i get flooded with dms asking what do i do with my hair how do i use it you guys are so confused um you've tried it you, you want to return it because you don't know how to use it so i thought i would just sit down and just film my entire Dyson Airwrap routine, and then I'm gonna get dressed, and then I'm gonna surprise Josh because he has no idea what I'm doing. Our household has been under the weather for the past week, so I have not put makeup on or done my hair in at least seven days, so he's probably gonna be shocked. I think he's gonna be like, I think he forgot what I look like, but um, I just, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling good, so I wanna do my hair, do my makeup, I'm gonna put on a cute outfit, and we're gonna surprise him. So let's just get into this Dyson Airwrap hair tutorial. Step by step, I promise you guys are gonna love this after doing it. This little thing is just magic. All right, after doing that intro, I'm already sweating. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this uh, robe on, cause like I'm already sweating and this puts out heat. So I know I'm gonna be hot. Yeah, this is coming off. All right, stand by. Whew, okay, much better. Now you guys can kind of see my hair better. So I washed my hair about an hour ago and I have not even brushed it yet. So this is kind of just like my natural texture. It's still super wet in the back, but it's pretty dry in the front. Literally haven't brushed it yet. So I'm going to put in some more leave-in conditioner and I just use a wet brush pro. Um, I feel like that helps get the tangles out and doesn't pull as much. Yeah, I probably should have brushed my hair after the shower. <laughs> that doesn't sound too healthy. Okay, now that we have my hair brushed, like I said, it's still super, super damp in the back. Now I know people have different techniques for this. I actually like to completely dry my hair before I curl it. I know some people curl it with and when it's wet, they do the blowout when it's wet. I like mine completely dry and then I use it as like a curling iron. So that's my process and that's how it works for me. But before I do anything else, I'm gonna spray my hair with some heat protectant. Okay, to start, I have the Dyson Airwrap. This is the like blow drying uh, attachment. And I always put it on the highest fan and the highest heat. I do that for everything. All my settings are always on the highest. All right, before this gets crazy, I always start up at the root, even though it's kind of already dry. I started the root to help minimize frizz. I think it works. I'm once again, not a hairstylist, so I don't know if that's true, but in my mind it works. Let's start drying our hair. <laughs> Wrong way. I always get confused, confused, confused. <laughs> I have also seen people do this, like put it through and dry their hair this way. I have never done that, so let's try it. It's not doing anything. That just seems so unnecessary because it's coming out this way. Um, I obviously have way too much hair to be doing all that, so I don't know if I would do that. So here is my lion's mane of hair. It's pretty dry. And if you're watching this video and you don't even own a Dyson Airwrap, I should probably show you. So there's just like this little click button here. So you just like click off the attachments and that's how this works. So after I use the drying attachment, I then put a brush attachment on and it literally just clicks 
right in, super easy, and it clicks in the back. My hair is pretty big and frizzy, so I go in and just really try and like straighten and smooth out my hair as much as possible, and I think that's what gives it that really nice like 90s supermodels blowout look. So you guys can see the difference right here. It just gives it that nice, shiny, sleek look, and I haven't even put anything in it yet, and it's super like soft and easy to run my fingers through. And look at the difference. You can see that it's smooth, it's shiny, and it almost looks like I put oil on my hair, and we have not, so I'm gonna finish and do this side. Okay, so that was the brush and you can just see how shiny I can run my fingers through it. It's not tangly whatsoever compared to when I just got out of the shower. All right, so we are now at the curling part and the attachments have arrows on them. So you clip it on and I always look in the mirror and the way the arrows are or in the mirror is how it will turn. So you always wanna curl like away from your face, if that makes sense. If you're curling in, you're gonna get like those like spiral, you wanna curl away from your face. But I actually have a ton of hair, so I find it easier to section off this like top layer. I just, it's literally just the smallest top layer that includes my bangs and like how I frame my face. I am just going to clip that on top of my head. I found the best way is taking off a section of hair and I always hold it. I found that that's so much easier. So I turn it on, it's on, hold it, and just let the ends go around and then you slowly let go as it goes up. And there's your curl. I know you might be like, Abby, it's not that easy. We'll get it down. So once again, section off that tiny piece of hair. I always hold it, always hold it. Because my hair is longer, it's easier to hold towards the end. Turn the machine on, wrap it around the hair. So you just, it, it will wrap itself. And then you just slowly pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. I let it sit. And there it is. And that's the curl. And we're just gonna keep doing that till I get to like the middle back of my hair and then I'll switch attachments. Here's all these curls. I'm gonna just spray it with some more spray. And I've reached the back of my hair, so I just split it. So now we are gonna switch the attachments to the other side so they're curling the right way. And now we're gonna work on the top part. And then this is what we have left to work with. <clears throat> Perfect, just like that. And then this, I'm gonna use a round brush for my like bang part. So then now we need to switch the attachment. Move it over here. Okay, so now we are left with the bangs. We are gonna grab the brush, round brush attachment. We're gonna pop this one off. Put the round brush on. And then we're going to put it back here and wrap around and curl back. And 
And then now I'm gonna just grab the actual like small pieces of the bangs. And I might look a little crazy right now, but just wait. Okay, so we haven't brushed anything out yet. So this is what it looks like, like super curled. But let's run our fingers through those curls. And look at the volume that's already happening. Look at that. So there's that side. How easy that is, guys. Volume. Looks like I just did a hair commercial. <laughs> that is it. Woo! Let's do some spray. I feel like I've seen hair stylists do this with hair. <laughs> but that's why I like using the smaller attachment because it gives it like that nice bounce. And my hair's super soft just because I just washed it. So I actually try to like dirty it up. It gives it the most hold. So I just put a ton of spray. I'll even put some dry shampoo like up here to add just a little more volume. You can add like volumizing texture spray. So let me go get some dry shampoo. Look at that hair. I, I don't get what's in this to make it do this, but it is amazing. So that is my quick and easy Dyson Air Wrap tutorial. I do it the same way every single time. So I hope that was helpful for you guys that are like clueless on how to use it or not understanding it or just struggling using like how to get it to curl and stay. So I hope that helped. Now let's go get dressed and go surprise Josh. All right, so I just got this dress on. Fun, cute. I don't think Josh has even seen this dress. I think I bought it with like a ton of other stuff and just threw it in my closet. So we'll see how he reacts to it. We got my hair. I just ate a Jimmy John sandwich, so my lipstick is like gone. My hair is still looking really good. It's still holding everything. So let's go get his reaction. Let's go. He's in there playing with Poppy, so. What are you two doing? <laughs> Where are you dressed up going to? I thought you were taking me out on a date. What's up today? <laughs> Your hair. Oh, I know. Do you like it? <laughs> it's like glamorous. It's the, wow. it's like the very 90s wow. supermodel. Soft. It's with the Dyson. Do you like the vacuum? It? Yeah, I did it with a vacuum. Do you like mommy's hair? What about mommy's outfit? Do you like we mommy's outfit? Hi, I'm Mr. Lion. <laughs> Rawr. Well, speaking of hair, um, I was wondering maybe if you could use the Dyson on me. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's not moving. You like mama's mm, hair? Yeah. All right, so I guess I'm gonna call the babysitter and uh, we're gonna go on a date. What do you think, Poppy? Yes, you want mommy and daddy go on a date? Yeah. You go on a date? Yeah, <laughs> she said yeah. All righty, well, let's go on a date night. Baby number two, here we come. Wait, what? Yeah.